Personal development, self-improvement. Do you have a personal growth plan? I'm going to share a principle with The Course in Miracles that kind of when you look at it deeply lets you understand why it's important to always have goals and objectives ready to be achieved and being happy in doing so. Writing down smart goals, choosing happiness. Can you choose to be happy? Absolutely we can, but why do so often people not choose to be happy? How can we feel happy? Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer. Thanks for joining me this morning on another Everyday Miracles moment on video, and it's another wonderful day. I'm so excited about the day getting started. You can see the light coming into my window. The sun just came up this morning. You know, let's talk about achieving smart goals quickly by choosing happiness in a personal growth plan. You know, planning is everything, but it is important to do exactly what you can to further better yourself and your life when it comes to personal transformation or turning your life around for the better, whatever it may be. As you're listening to me, keep in mind that in the description area down below here at YouTube is an access link called Manifest Greatness, and it's a wonderful video I urge you to watch, and it offers a free manifestation breakthrough kit on showing you how the power of manifestation really works to get the life you want through happiness. You know, today let's discuss achieving your goals and objectives quickly, but you know, that is where self-help strategies really come in handy. You know, you can read more on my blog at this on an article I've written, a very detailed uh, article, but easy to understand, and it's about why manifesting love always with a life of purpose and passion gets you the life that you want. And the link to that article is also in the description area down below here at YouTube. Now, you might have to click on show more to expand that area open to get to that link. But be very particular with your goals. I mean real particular. Document your goals and objectives by documenting them, writing them down will help to hold you responsible. And it's proven to assist those who really do achieve and set out to attain their goals and objectives. When it concerns your self-improvement goals, make sure that you not only discuss things in your head and check in with yourself periodically on your progress, but, but that you also pay attention to your thoughts and assess them. You know, take an inventory on your thoughts. Are there, what wrong-minded thoughts do you need to throw out? And what right-minded thoughts do you want to just hang on to? Due to the fact that you need to follow your thought patterns and use them to grow even more, it's very important. Now, I'm going to give you a, a principle right here, right now, from the Course in Miracles, from the text of A Course in Miracles that states, every situation properly perceived becomes an opportunity to heal. Now, I'm going to repeat that, but keep in mind, uh, before I do, that in the description area down below, also, I have noted that, this principle, the, the words to this principle. So I hope that you'll write them down and uh, keep it for further contemplation. The Course in Miracles states, every situation properly perceived becomes an opportunity to heal. As you can see from these suggestions that I've just been giving you, helping yourself can truly make a distinction in the general quality of your life. And I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life and all the natural beauty that is within you in learning to reflect that awesomeness about you to the material world and making your life situation just wonderful. By the way, if you felt this presentation this morning was helpful to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. And once again, I wish the best for you always in everything you do in life and achieving your goals and objectives and finding happiness and choosing to be happy. Until next time, God bless.